when it comes to Christmas, nobody does it more magically than Disney. I also have a very big soft spot for the House of Mouse. I don't watch the TV show that much because it is aimed at very young children. But I couldn't resist Mickey's Magical Christmas snowed in at the House of Mouse. This is a one hour film released in 2001. And the basic concept is very similar to the episodes Mickey is putting on a show. If you're unfamiliar with the House of Mouse, basically it's a, a dinner and a show if you like. But all of the Disney characters are there from all of the films. We have Simba, Timon and Pumbaa. The evil queens there, the Mad Hatter. If it's an animated Disney character, they will be in the House of Mouse at some point. And I absolutely love that concept so much. And this brings it into a Christmas setting. To make a long story short, Mickey has been putting on a Christmas show for all of the Disney characters. And then it turns out that after the show is finished, they're snowed in. And Mickey has to try and find a way of entertaining people. And he does that by telling various different Christmas stories. And this is an anthology of Disney Christmas stories built around the setting of the House of Mouse. And I love that concept so much. I think it works fabulously. The stories themselves range from pretty basic. For example, Donald, Chibi, Dewey and Louie in a story are building a snowman and skating on ice. Quite festive. All the way up to things like the Nutcracker and then ultimately the one that takes up probably a third of it, maybe more, is the Disney's A Christmas Carol, Mickey's Christmas Carol, which is actually a short that's about 26 minutes. So yeah, that probably does take up about half of this, which is not a bad thing. It's an absolutely adorable story. I love the adaptation with um, Scrooge McDuck. It's a really beautiful one hour show. Although I feel like the House of Mouse itself is obviously aimed at very young children. Or, or quite young children. This one is something that the whole family can enjoy because it just oozes Christmas spirit. It's happy, it's positive, it's merry. Donald is very grumpy so we do have some balance there. And it's obviously got a really good message about the true meaning of Christmas insofar as making others feel loved and welcomed and you know, making other people feel special. But it does have a lot of traditional Christmas tropes as well. The Christmas tree, the Santa hat, the tin silver whites. It's, it's beautiful. It's magical. If you want to get into the Christmas spirit, this will do it. The music is hit and miss. Some of the soundtrack is traditional festive. And some of it is just what I believe is just music composed for the show. I'm not 100% confident about that. But there was a lot of instrumental in this that I didn't recognise and wouldn't really have considered to be that Christmassy. So aside from that, I really absolutely adored it. It's a fun way to explore Disney at Christmas. I love seeing all the characters. We have a great mix of characters in this one as well. I really cannot fault it. And if you love Disney and you love Christmas films, this has to be the next one that you watch. <laughs>